Clint. Nora. Nigel. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Charlie. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. What's with the suitcases? Going on a trip? Uh, not exactly. We find ourselves in rather extraordinary circumstances. What kind of circumstances? Dorian kicked us out of our house. Is there any room at the inn? So we're agreed. We're going to tear up the South Lawn and put in a labyrinth. A labyrinth? I thought we were going to build a big maze made out of hedges. Hey, on second thought, we should extend the garage. Did I tell you that I have a meeting at Landview Motors tomorrow? I've ordered two convertibles, three SUVs, and a six-pack of motorcycles. Well, then, we'll just demo the stables. Now that is a good idea. Allow me. Oh, I have you. unfortunate memories of the stables. Ah, so do I. So, we'll sell all of Ace's horses to a stud farm. What about the old gray mare? Renee can fend for herself. <laughs> Poor Renee. She looked so exhausted when she came in. Oh, it's been a rough day on everyone, but especially her. What's going on? Your mother's good friend decided to evict us. Oh, hello. Don't look at me. He is your brother. Uncle Bo evicted you? No, 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 no. David Vickers. Excuse me? And your mother... Oh, it's a long, long story. Your mother's just been so gracious, and she's allowing us to bunk with her. Well, no, come on. It's no trouble. Well, we would have stayed at the palace. Yeah. Desk clerk wouldn't give us a room. Then the night manager backed him up. I mean, can you believe that? What are you saying? They wouldn't let Renee stay at her own place? Well, it's questionable as to whether it's hers or not now. Due to some loophole in the will, David, David of all people, now owns the palace, and we're persona non grata. David who? D David Vickers? I can't believe that David actually threw you out on the street. I truly thought the man had changed when he converted. Oh. Converted to what? You know, why wouldn't David and Dorian stay at her place? I mean, she's already got a mansion. Yeah, but she gave that to Mo and Noel. Besides, ours has a moat and horses. It's not about the house. She could care less who has what house. What it is, it's revenge. She wants to make me pay. Well, that's her favorite activity, isn't it? Making other people miserable. Yeah. But if she thinks I'm done, got another thing coming. The Buchanans are probably crying into their domestic beer right about now. <laughs> That's all those barbarians deserve. <laughs> Easy. Those barbarians are my brothers. You never cared when I said anything about Spencer? You're right. Go ahead. They've never acted like my brothers. You're all the family I need. And you've got a wonderful extended family now. You're going to love living with all my girls again. Yeah, where are the Kramer women? I sent Daddy to round them all up. What's, what's wrong? You sound worried. Well, Sven said they were on their way, but <laughs> you know what atrocious English he speaks. Oh, they'll be here. You just increased their net value by several zeros. I'm not sure they'll appreciate that. You're kidding. Right? No, the last time that I offered them a golden opportunity, I ended up running a company all on my own. Well, that won't happen again. Of course not. You just have to help me, David. Convince them uh, that this is a new and golden era. Baby, I'll do whatever it takes. Are you ready? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Talk on it. Am I gonna have to fire some of the help already? <laughs> Don't you worry your pretty little head. I'll get it. Oh. Wait. How do I look? Sweetheart, you look like a billion bucks. <laughs> Trust me. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Mm. Bienvenue à la Maison Fleury. Maison Fleury. Jack. It's French. I know that. Learning Francais was on my list. How come you renamed the Alamo for something so delicate as a flower? A flower? You said it meant stud. <laughs> Still at it, aren't you, Dory? Well, 
darling, when you think of it in terms of fertility, mm. one lie to explain another, that sounds like a really good recipe for a highly successful marriage. Obviously, you're all welcome to stay just as long as you like. Well, no, we won't be staying all that long. I mean, if we can't get the house back, there's always London. Oh, come on, you're going to leave the country? Well, it won't come to that, no. Bo and I have options. What are you doing coming over here, acting like this? What kind of an example are you setting for the girls? What girls? Aren't they on their way over? No. Langston's out with Marco, Star has a project, and Blair hung up when oh. she heard you'd called a meeting. Oh, so of course, you, you had to come over here, right? And just happen to throw a pie in my husband's face? I just mm. exfoliated. I didn't come here to unclog your pores. I came here to clear your stopped up soul. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, we're just having a little disagreement, that's all. About the wedding, because uh, Jared wants a tent on the lawn and I would like a canoe with beer in it down by the river, you know? So I, good. I don't have to worry that you two are visiting a hospital. Oh. Uh, blood tests. Yeah, for the marriage license. Officially disease free. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. When, you, when do you two plan on doing this thing, whatever it is that you turn out to do? Well, actually, we haven't set an official date yet. Yeah. Well, just FYI, if you do plan on going with your tent thing, don't plan on pitching it on Pa's lawn because uh, David Vickers is now the official lord of the house. Wait, what? You couldn't cut a deal? No way. Mm. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. I really never counted on David's religious conversion really taking. My soul is just fine, thank you. You're worse off than I thought. What about the damage you're doing to your future selves? What does that have to do with anything? I thought you were Buddhist, Dory. You drank all that yak butter tea for nothing. What about learning to live a life without want? With all due respect to David's uh, former faith, I think that his higher power did not want to see him suffer. Suffering is the only true path to enlightenment. Well, David's path led him to find his real self and straight into this house. I mean, his higher power wanted him to be rich. Yeah. By turning the Buchanans out of their home? That is melodramatic. Nobody has been turned out of anything. Yeah, they kind of were. I thought so. Tell me, David, is that what Buddha would do? 